Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, constructors. What is a constructor? Now this is part of the programs which will be, which will be class based. Okay, so you will you will need to create a constructor there. So let us understand what a constructor is. A constructor basically is a method. It is a special method. So yes, it is a method it is written right like a method, but you will see the differences. It has the same name as the class name. It does not have a return type, not even void. So what we'll do is we'll just start with these three things and let us create a constructor using router. What I have done is I have created a function, a class called demo and uh, basically it contains two methods called set method and show method and it also contains the main method. Let us create the constructor. Now this, the, what, the three points that I have already talked about, they said it is a method having the same name as the class name. And it has no return type. So that means you can see if I create any function, it will be written as pub. It will have an access specifier plus a return type plus the name of the method. But if I create a method called demo, which is the same name as the class name. So if I write demo function and brace open and closed. And it will need an access specifier when that is public, but it will not have any return type. So that means it will we will not write it as public void demo function. Okay, so we will not write it like that. So what is the difference between a normal method and this special method that we are, we are talking about is basically a normal method has an access specifier and a return type. Okay, and then also the name of the method and the argument and stuff like that. But um, a constructor basically contains uh, no return type there. Okay, so these three first three points are done. It is a special method. We'll talk about the special method later. But it has the same name as the class name. You can understand that I have created this method with a name with the name demo, and it does not have any return type not even void so that means there is there is no return type not even void so you can't write void here what happens if you write void here is that it does not remain a constructor anymore it becomes a normal method so uh, as i told you this is a special method so let us leave it at the special part it is automatically executed when an object is created. This we will see a little later. It creates the object. So when, how do we actually create the object? Let us create an object. So say demo A is equal to new demo. Can you see this method here? What is this method doing? What is this method? This is actually the constructor of the class, which is actually creating the, the object. So ye, this we had not discussed till now, no? So we used to write demo function, but where is the demo function? We did not know the demo function. Okay, so that means this basically, what does this do? This actually creates the object. Okay, great object, fine. Uh, let us understand what this new does. New basically allocates memory to the object. And the demo function basically describes the functionality of the of the of the particular object. So, uh, what next? So it creates the objects. Okay. So it creates the objects. We have done. Can be overloaded. Um, come karta. Let me put this particular string above that. So that means if no constructor is created, Java provides the default constructor. Now, if I if I run this program and and use uh, say a dot set bracket may nineteen and I pass nineteen to it and then I say a dot show function, perfect. So this program runs fine. I can compile it, close it, and let me. run the program let me run the program run the main function 
and if I go to the terminal window, it shows me the value 19 there. Okay, so the program is running perfectly fine. I am using a constructor, I am executing a constructor from here and the constructor is available here. What happens if I do not create this constructor at all? We have not been creating the constructors and still our programs were running fine. So let us compile this program and let us uh, run this again. It still shows 19. So ye ab constructor kahan se aaya? Where is this constructor coming from? The constructor that I am calling from here, I did not create it here. Did I? I did not create it. So what my next statement says here, if no constructor is created, Java provides the default constructor. Can we see the default constructor? I cannot see the default constructor, but let me just go and see the documentation of my program. You will find that it shows a constructor summary here and in the constructor summary, it shows demo function here. So this, where is this demo function coming from? I did not create it. You can see method summary mate it is showing main function. I created the main function. Set function, I created the set function. Uh, show function, I created the show function. But did I create the demo function? No, I did not create the demo function. Java is providing me the, the demo function. Okay, Although it is doing nothing else but uh, only creating the object. But Java is providing me the default constructor. I hope you have understood this. So even if I do not create a default constructor, Java provides the default constructor because uh, Java knows that if a programmer has not created a constructor, he is basically not looking at the functionality of a constructor apart from creating an object. So default may ek de deta hu, jo ki object create kar dega, that's all. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll we'll uh, uh, see this later on also. We'll repeat this, okay? So, can be overloaded. Overloaded means, okay, let me just undo the stuff. I have now, I have my default constructor. I can create another constructor which says, okay, pass it a value. So, if I say int n and inside this, I say, I say num is equal to n. So this is basically doing the same thing as set function. But I am using a constructor here. Okay, so I have used a constructor here. How will I use this now? What I'll how I'll do it, I'll say demo b is equal to new demo. And to this I will pass a value. So you can understand when I am using the default constructor, it will actually use this constructor to create the object. I am not passing anything, so num remains a zero, no problem. But if I am using this particular constructor, this constructor is the one which is taking arguments, so naturally it will be calling this one. And 26 will be passed to n, n will be passed to num. And if I display the value of num, if I say a dot, sorry, sorry, b dot show function, if I display b, what is it going to display? It is going to display to me the the value of num sorry okay so the value 26 so that means now how do you think we have actually uh, see a kinder how did we set the value we set it using the set function how did we set the value in b we have actually used the constructor we said okay create the object and inside the object store a value 26 so i don't need to go further and say set so and so i can set something later on also fine i can say b dot set bracket may 109 and then i can say b dot show so i can do this later also but at the time of creation of the object i can pass it a value here i did not pass it a value it simply created the object that's all with the blank value here when it creates an object it creates a, an object with the value which you have been you have passed over there okay does it make sense so what i have done is i have overloaded the constructor this is the default constructor and this is the overloaded constructor okay so overloaded we have used that let's see the next uh, okay there is another point here. 
if any constructor is created is created comma java does not provide the default what a constructor it was actually giving you earlier okay let us check this out main ye jo blank wala constructor hai default constructor mein uh, let me just delete it now i have deleted it now what i was thinking was be java will always provide me that one okay java will provide me that why should i give it why should i write it i have created my default um, uh, my overloaded one fine it is going to be used by this particular line fine uh let us go to the documentation and see what constructors are being provided if you just see the constructor summary this is the constructor that i created what about the constructor which demo bracket bracket which was not created by me and java was providing it is not providing me right now why because i have created one constructor of my own i have created one constructor of my own so java says now if you have started creating constructors please create the default one also although it may not be doing anything but please create it so you can see now that this statement is not working it because it is not it is looking for the constructor it says this uh, constructor cannot be found it can it's not there so what do we what do we do we create the constructor we say public uh, demo function and i create open and close brackets i don't want to write anything there fine now my program is perfectly fine and it will compile perfect is that understood okay okay now uh, let us see the rest of the points can have any access but should be made should not be made private in fact in your programs you will always be creating them with the public access okay now well, let me discuss uh, there are two points to be two names to be cons considered here one is the default constructor one is the no argument constructor basically both of them look like this only so both of them will be looking like public uh, demo function or nothing in it both of them are looking like this this is also a default constructor default constructor does not have any argument and there is nothing in the body the no argument constructor is also like this but what is the difference between the two the default constructor is the one we when we do not create and java provides you one that is the one which is called as the default constructor which is actually provided by java i do not write it and if i write if i write this thing it is this is also no argument constructor but this is created by the programmer this is created by me so the no arg constructor the no argument constructor is written by the programmer the default constructor is provided by java both of them okay both of them fine uh, both of them do not have arguments fine but the one that you create naturally you have the option of writing something there so i have an option of writing something inside so i can say system dot out dot print ln object created so that means i have just written a statement object created what is going to happen when this particular object is created this is going to execute the demo function that is this one this is no arg no argument constructor that is, that is created by you and um it will display object created so let's compile this and let's run this program let's run this program can you see this this actually displays object created how is it displaying object created is because is because the constructor is the the no argument constructor is created which was created by me and it displays object created message there this basically does not display anything okay, because it is actually passing a value it is not displaying anything. you could have you could have done that also there okay i hope this makes sense uh, let us just do a refresh of uh, all this all the statements this is a special method 
has the same name as the class name, does not have a return type, not even void. So that means you do not return, say public void, you just write public demo function or public student function or public employee function, whatever it is. Is automatically executed? Yes, it is. Over new case, it automatically execute. Then it creates object. Yes. If no constructor is created, Java provides the default constructor. This is called, this is the default constructor. No argument constructor, but it does not do anything except creating the object. Can be overloaded? Yes. And uh, uh, constructors can be overloaded. And uh, if any con constructor is created, Java does not provide the default. If you start creating any constructor, Java will not give you the default constructor. You have to create your no argument constructor or whatever yourself. Can have any access, but should not be made private. So it should basically in your programs, you will always create them with public access. You will always create them with public access. But by the way, they can be, can have any access. If anybody wants to discuss this, they can discuss this with me in private. Uh, the difference between the default constructor and no argument constructor is basically that the default constructor is the one which is not doing anything except creating the object and it is provided by Java. The no argument constructor is basically again a no argument constructor but it is created by the programmer. It may or may not have any statement in the body depends on whether the programmer wants to write something there or not. Okay, I think uh, that is all. Please uh, see this pro uh, this uh, video again if you have not understood anything, and let us uh, study this in the class. Thank you.